Today, take a look at this headline from The Washington Post, failing to mention key details of the incident and highlighting Mr. Reed's race. Here now with reaction, former NYPD inspector and Fox News contributor Paul Morrow is with us. Also, Project 21 founder Horace Cooper. Okay, so the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, uh, Paul, they have a preliminary report, and that is that, in fact, it was the person in the car, driving the car, that shot first. Okay. He shoots. The, they At that point, police have every right. One officer was injured. Police have every right at that point to defend themselves and protect themselves. Um, however, 96 shots is an awful lot of shooting. Uh, how do you explain that high number, even though this guy shot? If you shoot at a cop, you, you're probably going to die. I mean, that kind of is like A squared, B squared, C squared. But why 96 shots? Well, Sean, it's hard for me to see in the video um, what's going on in ins inside the car and beside the car. Uh, my understanding is there's other video that shows more of that. One of the things that does happen sometimes in these situations, and they're very, very heated, and look, you, know, you have to predicate everything we say with the fact that this is a tragedy, but there's a phenomenon in uh, police shootings called mass contagious shooting. And what happens is officers hear the gunshots, they hear others firing, they don't know where those shots are coming from, they're very hyped yeah. up. And there's also the ricochet effect. Um, that was something that occurred in the Amadou Diallo case, didn't make the media because it didn't fit the narrative. One of the things that happened in that case is the initial rounds that were fired were bouncing off the wall and were coming back at the cops, and they were hearing those shots going past them. And so I'm not saying that's what you happened know, here. It, we have to it, deal with the facts, but that's one of the things that is get, on the table. Horace, let's get your take. Well, I'm going to put my cards on the table. I back the men in blue. I understand that there is an investigation that is underway, but I also understand that we need people who are willing to put their lives on the line so that they can protect and present, prevent the law of the jungle. When our public schools fail us, when our moms and dads fail us, when social programs don't work, only the men in blue are left to step in and clean up the job. You know, I... There are some things, if a police officer pulls you over and says, put down your window, open the door, you know, when I get pulled, if you listen, it goes a long way. Um, in that sense, every human life matters, and it's a tragedy, and you can't shoot at a cop either. More Hannity next.